Suppose you're not going to the park today. Suppose you don't have a park ticket or you just don't want to go to the park. Tonight, I'm going to take you along with us as we are doing all kinds of activities that don't require you to go into a park. So stick around. First thing first is dinner. Don't forget to take advantage of the resort and its amenities in addition to its restaurants. So we are at Port Orleans French Quarter, so we're gonna walk down the river and go to Riverside to Boat Rides. Super excited, never tried it, and we're gonna eat tonight there. You want to go somewhere else? Okay. Okay. contemplated on getting prime rib or jambalaya, but I am having prime rib tomorrow night because we have a date with Snow White at Artist Point. So Annie's saying hello. So I went ahead and just got the jambalaya simply because it is special to boat rides because of it being Louisiana and Cajun. So I'm really, really excited to try it out. What else did you get? Oh, let me have that. We just got done eating our dinner and it was actually really, really delicious. I got the jambalaya. I think I already said that. It was really good. Annie got the kids meal, the cheeseburger. She was mostly excited about the grapes and that cool cup that the waiter gave us. So overall experience, it was really awesome. I think for the both of us, we spent $40 plus a $10 tip. Um, so not too bad for the two of us. Um, and then I would give my jambalaya like a seven out of 10. Like it was really, really, really good. Would I have it again? maybe probably would choose the prime rib after that I just got a minivan so now we are gonna go to winter summertime which is one of Disney's miniature goth so we're gonna go putt-putting yes do you see a Mickey there's a goofy where do you see a Mickey and then our favorite is Daisy yes <laughs> So with this golf course, you get to pick whether you want to do summer or winter. Annie has chosen to do summer. And oh, oh, there's snow, Annie. Look, do you see it? Was that cool? Are you ready to golf? Annie, are you ready to golf? It's beautiful. Oh, the beautiful. Yes. 
The fish, is it squirting? Oh, okay. Come on, miss. Your turn, mom. My turn? Yes. Gonna hit it hard, okay? Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Ready? Go! We were having a really great time until she heard this Santa that's laying in the sand snoring. Now she's scared to death and doesn't want to golf anymore. I think Melted Frosty is going to resurrect us maybe? Let's see. Do you want to golf? Here, here's your ball. Oh, you want me to take a picture with Frosty? Okay. Okay, ready? Cheese! Cheese! Okay, here's your here's your golf ball and your club. All right, Toots. All right, Toots. Go ahead. Let's do it. You got it? Huh? Where's Santa? Santa's back there. We're not going to go visit him yet. Kids are so funny. Like, what just happened? I'm confused. Frosty resurrected. Now... We're not golfing anymore that she got her picture taken with him and wants to know where Santa is. While we are waiting on our minivan to take us to Disney Springs, I thought that I would share with you guys on how to get here. You will not see buses directly next to the miniature golf, but I would suggest if you are not going to take a minivan or if you don't have private, private, excuse me, transportation, just go ahead and bus to Blizzard Beach. There will probably be a transfer to Animal Kingdom from your resort to, and then you do a transfer from Animal Kingdom to Blizzard Beach, and then you can just simply walk on over. I also suggest just making sure that you're using the My Disney Experience app so you can use the GPS or get directions feature on there. So I kind of did not realize how late I had Annie out. It is 8.55, but priorities. We're going to, we're just gonna do our top priorities. Uh, quick, quick Disney Springs. So first of all, we're gonna go to Zara. I love going to Zara because I don't have to pay for shipping. So every time we come to Disney, I always go to Zara and get Annie some clothes. Two, she wants a balloon. Three, she wants to ride the train, probably the carousel. And then we'll see what else we do in between. But those are the top priorities when we come to Disney Springs. little recap of this afternoon a reminder you don't have to go into the parks just to have fun at Disney now I understand 
you paid the money for your tickets, you want the value of that money that you put down. But sometimes, times like this, like these seasons, where it is so crazy, hectic, busy, it's just very overwhelming, especially for a child, for you, for an entire family, to be in the parks and it being absolutely crazy. So be okay with doing the things that are not in the parks. With a little girl who is super, super tired and think we need to go back, let me rape about minivan. It is so hard. I've done it before, Tyler and I have done it before. Bringing a sleeping baby onto the bus and trying to get back to your resort, it's miserable. Your arms hurt because you're still trying to hold them. And typically this late at night, there's not that much sitting room. So here you are managing the stroller and holding the baby. Highly don't recommend like 10, 10, don't do it. Um, so again, here we are with the minivan. It is wonderful. And we've actually done the minivan like four times today, just simply because we've not done much park time and we've been hopping all over the place. So it's just easier, more convenient doing the minivan. They are super trained. Um, they're super safe. They're trained in car seat safety. They are Disney cast members, but just through the Lyft app, they've got a TV in there. They've got cords to charge your electronics. It's just a wonderful experience. I will always, always, always advocate for the minivan. And then plus, if you're a Delta member, you can link that uh, your Lyft app and your Delta account together and you can get miles when you use the minivan. Little tip. <music>